We've now looked at two popular types of terminals, and a third is this one, the bifurcated or fork terminal. Wires may enter these terminals in several different ways, from the side, the top, or the bottom. Most commonly, side entry is used when one or more wires are terminated. The wrap specified may be either a 90 degree wrap or a 180 degree one. The 180 degree wrap is used when additional mechanical holding is desired during soldering and there is sufficient clearance between adjacent terminals. When two wires are terminated, they are brought in on the same side as shown here. Let's watch the joint being made. First, the tinned wire is put across the terminal to determine the proper insulation gap. Then the 90 degree bend is put in using a pair of chain nosed pliers. The wire is positioned and then trimmed so that none of it protrudes beyond the diameter of the terminal. Soldering is done with a large tip put on the edge of the terminal and in contact with the wire. First the solder bridge is made and then the solder is moved over to the other side. With this type of terminal, because of its large mass, the iron can be taken off before the solder is. The iron should be removed when the solder is flowing and there is enough heat for a moment to complete the joint. The joint is then cleaned. These are the three surfaces that should be in contact with the wire when it's properly wrapped around the terminal. The joint is clean, smooth, and bright with an undisturbed surface and a concave fillet exists between conductor and terminal. For comparison, here is a joint that is unacceptable because it has insufficient solder and the end of the lead extends beyond the diameter of the terminal. In addition to side entry, wires may enter the terminal from either the top or the bottom. With top entry, the wire is often bent into a double thickness and then inserted and soldered. With bottom entry, the wire is bent over 90 degrees where it emerges and trimmed off so it doesn't protrude beyond the diameter of the terminal. During soldering, the hole should not be filled all the way to the bottom. 